and welcome. This is Ruth Hamilton and I have a showcase die set and stamp set from Tonic Studios to share with you today and this one is called Perfect Tulips. So as you can see this is the die set and this is the stamp set and they can both be worked and used together. So we've got some beautiful tulips here, a large one and then two slightly smaller ones, a little bow, a little heart and some beautiful sentiments there. So you are perfect to me. Uh, my greatest love, thanks, you make me so happy and something to brighten my day. And then we've got this beautiful vase. Is vase a vase, whatever you like. So we'll have a little look at the, the dies then. And the outer die here is made of four interlocking squares. And then these other dies fit inside. So I'll just move that off. Um, so we have a large tulip and the stem and then some smaller tulips in among there as well. And then these ones can be used inside. You don't necessarily have to use this one. So we've got these other ones that can be used down in below here as well. Smaller squares for inside so that you have uh, mats and layers. That would be this one. And then these fit in there. So we have these beautiful tulips themselves. There are two different sizes in those. And I really love the, the look of those and I'm thinking I could, could make up a beautiful bouquet. You could even have some of the stamped ones and some of these in among each other um, along with this lovely little vase here which is just a different shape to the one we've already got there. So spring is bound to be just around the corner by now and I'm thinking we like sort of bright reds and yellows. I've got lots of tulips in the garden all different colours but my favourites are really those red and yellow ones that just pop out from all the greenery and whatnot behind so I'll set this aside now, pick out some nice colours and I'll be back in a moment. I've gone ahead and prepared some pieces now so I've taken the chilli red card and the buttermilk yellow from Craft Perfect that's these two colours and I've taken a 5 by 7 Craft Perfect bright white card blank now on the card blank I took this die that leaves the little pieces intact, so that's not the larger die. These two pieces work together but I've taken this one and I've taped that into the centre of a 5 by 7 card. So it's 3 and 3 quarter centimetres in from each side here and 3 centimetres from the top and bottom. And if you just remember whenever you're taping that in to put your masking tape down the centre part and not actually onto the card then it won't mark the card and you'll not be um, left with some little bits of pieces that you may not be able to cover afterwards. So tape that into the centre, remember to open the card out flat and feed it through the die cutting machine going in this direction so that you only need to cut here. You'll feel it once it comes over the top of this die, remove it and this is what you're left with, three apertures in the front of your card. Then I have taken two pieces of the coloured card. So they measure, the yellow one is 8 centimetres by 14 and a half and I've layered that onto an 8 and a half by 15 centimetre rectangle of chilli red. This time I have taken the larger die and I have set that into the centre and again I have put the, the masking tape down the centre and I've run that through my die cutting machine. I've also taken a piece, and I'll explain this part afterwards, but I've taken a piece of buttermilk yellow in exactly the same size as the larger piece here, which is the 8.5 by 15, and I have cut the, set the uh, smaller piece out of the centre of that, and I'll be showing you in a, in a second, in a minute or two, what that's for. So first of all, I want to glue this on here. I have then used these two dies together, that's this one and this one, I've taped those together and run them through the die cutting machine with some chilli red card and that has given me this shape. So I looked at this a time or two and I wondered did I want that white in the centre or did I want red but I thought the red just made a lovely frame for it. You could actually turn it this way which I've just done by accident but I think it fitted on really nicely this way. So what I'm going to do now is glue this piece on, just make sure you get that straight there and there, and then I'm going to glue this piece into the centre. Now 
Okay, for the next piece, what I have done is I have die cut some of the tulips. That's these two shapes here. And I have coloured them in with the alcohol markers. So I'll just show you. I have used the uh, these colours. I've used strawberry jam for the background, the, ba the base colour, and then I have added some depth with black cherry. And then I have used the vine leaf for the leaves and stem. So I'll go ahead and colour these. Now, at this stage, I'm going to remember you've got to colour the back as well as the front because when you open this card, you're going to see the back of those as well. that I've got these coloured what I want to do is glue them in behind uh, like this maybe with one or two of the leaves just poking out through the top and just arrange them through there and remember that the back is visible as well so I'm just going to nip a little bit off this and um, I'll explain that in a second or two but right now I'll just go ahead and glue these in And now that all those pieces are glued in, I actually snipped this one, as you can see there, just before I glued it in. Um, I want to keep everything into the centre there. So now that they're all glued in, I can take this piece that I showed you earlier, and then that will glue on over the top there and keep that nice and neat. So whenever you open the card, you won't see just that raw, unfinished thing at the back. And that's a beautiful card. It's really lovely. You have that aperture and you have those. It's lovely and open looking. So I'll go ahead and glue this and finish the inside then. So then I have just stamped thanks onto some white card, layered it onto some red and I've got some Morning Dew crystal drops here and I'm going to add a few of those on top of the tulips just to finish that off and it's a lovely bright card. That's that one finished and I'll check out another one now and I'll be back in a second or two. I'm really really pleased with that one. You, you could if you like put acetate in behind there in between those layers but I just like that nice open work feel with that one. I'm staying with the same colours and the same size of card for this one so I've taken a piece of the chilli red card and I've cut that to 12 by 17 centimetres to go onto the front there and then I've taken a piece of the bright white and I've cut that to 11 and a half centimetres by 16 and a half and I'm going to layer that on top there but what I've done first is I've taken this little corner die it's actually the stems of the tulips but I thought it looked really nice to go on the corners there and I have die cut that out, just taped it on, cut it out and moved it round and done it on the four corners. So that's that, that's the background. Then I want to add some red ribbon. So I've got this red spotted polka dot ribbon and I've cut two pieces of that. Um, I want to put that on the white before I mat it onto the red there. So I have got two pieces, one to go across the way and one to go down the way. And I've added double sided sticky tape on the back so I'm just going to peel that off and attach that on before I do anything else. Um, and I'll come back in a second or two and show you what I'm going to do with this piece.
Now I've taken these dies, so what I've done is I have used all of these little dies and taped them inside, as you can see there, the larger one, and I've cut that out in white, and then I've cut the larger one out again in yellow, and I'm going to glue that on top of that, and then I have my Bright Sunflower Nouveau Alcohol Marker, and I'm going to add some uh, detail just on the inside of the tulip, and glue that onto the front of the card. went on ahead with some of the morning dew drops and put them into the tulips as well there and then I added some bottled green crystal drops on there as well just sort of randomly over the card to finish that one so I think those both both of those cards are uh, using the same colours and using similar dyes but uh, they've turned out quite differently so I hope you like them I hope you've enjoyed them and don't forget if you have enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I'd love you to do that too. And then you can hit the notification bell so that you'll get to know whenever there's a new video. So thank you very, very much once again. I will add all the links to the products down below and some of these will be my affiliate links. So once again, I do appreciate everyone who uses those. And there'll be a little note about that down there too. So also, before I do go, uh, don't forget just to leave a comment because I do like to hear what you think as well. So thank you very much. Bye bye.